All right, on to the fantasy picks we're going to go through. Remember, it's fantasy.cfl.ca, and you can join that. It's in the description. You can join us on there, and we're going to give away prizes for the best team. Didn't do that great last week. And then we'll get into DraftKings as well, since they're kind of similar. First, uh, let's see how I did last week. I did not do very well in the CFL News Hub writers thing. I finished fifth. I got 61 points. Let's see. Is it going to show me last week's? Oh, wait. Weekly. Yeah. Oh, no. Overall, yeah, I got 61 points for the season. Oh, can you show? Here's my week one roster. This is not good. Made some mistakes. That's all right. Made some mistakes. So I had Jeremiah Mazzoli, 242 yards, a touchdown. 20, he has 21 points. Shaq Cooper, Johnny Augustine. That was the one I swear I thought I fixed. Didn't Nick uh, Dominski, which was from Rod, Rod uh, Villa Gomez. That was a good pick. 12 points. Uh, Kamar Jordan, he played well. Five catches, a touchdown, 19 points. Josh Huff didn't do too bad. And I thought Edmonton would be a lot better, and they really didn't do much. So not a very good week for me. But now this is a new week and a new chance. Uh, I'm not using any kind of bonus stuff. All right, so first up, we're going quarterback. I am staying away from Jeremiah Mazzoli. Let me know what you think. I mean, do you take a Trevor Harris? I'm going Bo Levi Mitchell, Mike Riley, staying away from him, Zach Kalaros. I'm going Bethel. Thompson. Why not? Nick Arbuckle is out. He was he, he was great last week. Why not? Go with him. Maybe Verdon Adams Jr., but I'm going with McLeod, Bethel Thompson, as my quarterback. That's my quarterback. Remember that? Andrew Harris staying away from him. I mean, you have to. I mean, James Wilder was good, but, I mean, Bradley Oliveira. I mean, even though I am very high on uh, Toronto's front seven, Dude put up points, and he's on the cheap. So you got to take him. You can go higher and pick somebody else. James Wilder uh, had a pretty good week last last week. John White. Let's uh, – Kadeem Carey, he's okay. I think Calgary will do better and, against BC, so I might go with Kadeem Carey on that one. Maybe more of kind of a safer pick. On to the wide receivers. Def, I mean – and this is what got me last week, and I was listening to you guys. You guys don't know what you're talking about. I was like, you, people were like, why didn't you pick Brandon Banks? The thing is, you spend so much money on somebody, like a Brandon Banks, and they stink. That's a lot of money you just wasted. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm not going there. I mean, even Brian Burnham is still high. But I might go Kamar Jordan on that one. Uh, but I need some um, low picks. I mean, Ricky Collins Jr. was great, and so was Lucky Whitehead. Can I get the? I'll take to both of those guys. Oh wait, I'm running out of money. How much money do I have left? Oh, I don't have a lot. Let's go defensive player. Let's pay, take a defense. Just go on some. I'm going Toronto. Uh, let, let's go with Montreal. Let's go with Montreal. Uh, I don't have enough for a player. Uh, hmm. Let's take Kamar out. We got to go for wide receiver. Just because Montreal, um, I, I'm not. I'm not sure about Edmonton. They could light it up, and they can be wrong. Um, but I'm. I like Ricky Collins. Can I get away with Ricky Collins? And then we got another player that we can put in here. Uh, Kenny Lawler, I think, did pretty well. And so did Lamar Durant. But I'm going to go with Kenny Lawler on that one. All right, so there's my picks for this week. I'm feeling pretty good about it. What do you guys think in the chat room? I got Bethel Thompson. I got Oliveira. I got Carey, Collins Jr., Whitehead. I mean, these two guys had a good first week. I hope they continue. Lawler played well. And then the Montreal Alouettes. Yeah, Lawler did. What did he do last week? Uh, game log. 
mean, four catches. He had two touchdowns. There you go. What else do you need? So he's definitely getting looks. That is my team there. What do you guys think in the chat room? Let's check in real quick with the chat room. Uh, after your confidence in your picks, there's a total score for the games, like the total number of points the teams will score. After your confidence in your picks, there's a total score for the games. Oh, is there more to it? What the heck? All right, let's go back. You're saying there's more to it. All right, my picks. Let's see here. Um, you're saying that there's more to it than, than what I just did? Let's go social. All right, so I have this pick, right? So I picked the winner, Calgary. I comp set the confidence. Oh, total points. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You're right, you're right. Um, oh, geez. Now I got to – man, this is a lot of work. Let me go back to my uh, – I have to go back to my picks. I don't remember what I did. All right, I'll have to fix that later. Thanks for the update. forgot about the total score. I'll have to uh, fix that later because I don't have it up on my screen. I don't feel like doing the math, but uh, got you. All right, thank you. I got you. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much, John Burns, helping me out. He's totally not paying attention to that piece of it. And I'm a software guy, too, and I totally screwed that up. On to the fantasy aspect of this fun stuff. We got, um, didn't, I lost money, clearly, because I didn't do very well. But I had, like, Bethel Thompson, I had Carey. He didn't do well. Burnham did good. Banks, I mean, you know, he did okay, but not for that kind of price. Bailey, Tucker, and then the Elks didn't do very good. I mean, I was, I mean, terrible. I mean, this was my better one, and I was 1,000 whatever. I had two picks in there. I didn't realize that. The number one guy in this league had 140. One, Bethel Thompson, Wilder, Rogers, Jordan, Walker, uh, Lawler Jr., and then the Rough Riders. That was like basic your, your top picks. He had that one there. In another game, I had Fajardo. Again, Augustine, I swear I thought I fixed this. Banks did nothing and spent a lot of money. Dimsky, I mean, only 4% had him, and he got 12 points. Ross didn't do much, but he got 9, but not enough. Rogers with 12, and then the Elks, and I was terrible in this one too. And the top guy here. <clears throat> Bethel Thompson, Wilder, Rogers, Jordan, Walker, Lawler, Rough Riders, that 41 points. Or was that the same game? I think that might have been the same game. So there's – those were my two lineups that I had that were terrible. Now, it is a new day, my friends. It is a new day. I'll tell you what. You guys can help me make my last pick. How about that? We'll let you make my last pick. So first, going quarterback. Like I said, I'm going Bethel Thompson. Why not? Let's play the hot hand. Um, I went, let's see, I went uh, Oliveira and Carey. How are they? Uh, Carey, I mean, he's down there. And, I mean, Oliveira, you got to take him. Where is he? Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I'm going to put him at running back. Where is he? He's got to be way up on here. Powell. Oh, yeah, he's down here. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, and he's so cheap, too. That's why. Wide receiver. In this one, I had uh, Collins, Whitehead, and Lawler. I'm not sure I can get all those guys. Uh, let's see. You got Collins, Whitehead. Is Lawler down? Where's Lawler? Are they? Where is he? I'm not going with these high price guys. And you notice that the winner out there didn't do the high price guys either. Just saying. I need somebody on the on the cheaper end here. 
Uh, carry. Oh, that's a flex. Oh, oh, now I'm at the flex. Yeah, but you got to You kind of, kind of stick with the wide receivers, in my opinion. Uh, just because they seem to get more points. Acklin, uh, Monty Edwards, eh, Durant. He did okay. Cunningham. Uh, oh, here's Lawler. We'll take him. And uh, let's go defense. I'm going to stick with my Argos. I'm sticking with the Argos. Oh, they're on the cheap. Wow, I got 10000 to spend on a flex. Who am I taking? Chat room. Oh, wrong button. Chat room. Who am I taking? Uh, we'll leave. Actually, let's do the. I can't see what you're telling me. Uh, let's go here. Who am I taking? All right, let's move this over. And we'll get to the DraftKings board and go back to. Actually, let's do this. All right, so who am I taking? Uh, my friends in the chat. Who do we got? Bethel Thompson was a hit and miss in 2019. I mean, do I go Burnham? I mean, that's a pretty good pick. Um, Eric Rogers. I think I'm just going to go Burnham. I got the money. I'm going Burnham it is. And I still have 500 bucks left over. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I'm pretty I think this is good I think I'm going to keep it I think I'm going to keep it and enter oh and the other thing too when it comes to doing fantasy stuff uh, is always play the double ups with like 20 like when 39 people uh, Rich says Ackland where's Ackland on here Oh, let me see. What's his price? Seven thousand. All right. What if we take law? Do we take Lawler out? And let's go. I think we have enough for Acklin. I'll do it. I'll take your word for it, Rich. I'm taking your word for it. If you make me. If you cost me money, you're in trouble, me, Mister. You're in trouble. All right. We're doing it. We're going with Acklin because he said, and he did look good. If Hamilton can score some points, I'm just worried about that. But anyway, if you do the CFL $5 double up, this is kind of like, this is kind of how the real players make their money. Rather than playing these things where, you know, oh yeah, if you have the perfect score out of 3,000 people, you'll, you'll win a lot of money. If you're just starting out, the double up's the best thing. So basically, like you put in five, and if you get better than half of the people, then you get ten dollars. That's kind of that's how I made my was able to buy my wife a couple things uh, playing C uh, NFL DFS, and I'm going to do the same for CFL now that I kind of got a handle of who's who. Um, but the double ups <clears throat> when it's at third, and these these games go quick, so you got to do them early on in the week. You can always change your lineup, but do these do these games early on, and you'll be uh, good to go there. So we'll enter that. And that is our lineup for DFS. I'm excited. I'm excited about these games this week. Well, let's take a little quick uh, break, and then we'll get to your social media stuff right after this. Stay tuned. I think we got everything, the scores and everything. Yeah, we'll be there right after this quick little break. <laughs> 